Okay, so how do you draw a daisy in pastel? Well, you want to work on a toned surface. You can see here uh, that uh, my yellow chalk or yellow pastel shows up uh, fairly well against the dark surface. If you put this against a white piece of paper, it's not going to show up so well. So one way or the other, you want a toned paper, whether you're working on toned pastel paper, construction paper, uh, you know, you you name it. Uh, or if you tone the paper yourself, you can you can put down a color and and kind of spread it in so that it's uh, it colors the background. However, you want to you want to get a, a color that is not pure white. Okay, so. What am I going to do next? Well, I'm going to come in here and erase my lettering. And then I'm going to switch over. I'm working uh, with ArtRage digital software, in case you're curious. Um, but you can do this again with regular pastels, pastel pencil, or a mixture of both. I'm going to start with just a sketch, and I'm just going to draw a circle. And then I'm going to draw another circle inside the circle. And I'm going to try to get it as, as close to centered as I can. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I'm not going to measure it or anything. Let's get it fairly close in there. Okay, so, so that's sort of my template so that all of my flower petals are going to be you know, roughly the same length. Okay, now I'm going to go to a different layer. If I were doing this with physical medium, I would just do the sketch part very, very lightly uh, so that it really doesn't show up when I do my drawing. Okay, I'm going to start with sort of an orange, and I'm going to go to my pastel tool and just do a nice little circle here. Okay, that's, that's the first step. This would be my underpainting. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch and start drawing the petals, and I'm going to draw with an off-white. I'm not going to go with pure white right now because I'm going to use that more for highlighting. So I'm going to draw my first petal just like this. I'm not trying to perfectly reproduce that photograph. I just am using it as a, as a reference, an idea. Okay, now to keep the petals looking right, instead of going just one by one, I'm going to draw my second one at about three o'clock here, if we're thinking of a clock face. And I'm going to draw another one at about six o'clock. And one at about nine o'clock. Okay, and then I'm going to come up here. Let's do one in between each of these. I'm drawing quick and loose. I'm not trying to, again, perfectly reproduce that photograph. I just want that to give me an idea of where to work from so I can create my own daisy. Okay, I'm going to kind of fill in some of the detail here, just get in a little bit closer to that circle. Okay, now I'm going to do some more petals, but these ones I'm going to make a little bit more random. I'm going to go a little darker so that it doesn't look absolutely perfect. And I'm going to throw some in here just kind of randomly. Well, they're not really random because I'm going in between those other ones, but I am going to throw some, some more random ones in here in just a minute. Okay, and if you notice in the photo, there are some that just seem a little bit either off, you know, sort of 
not quite where they're supposed to be. I'm just going to throw a couple others. I'm keeping this about the same color as the other. I'm going to differentiate that in a bit. Okay, so that's my underpainting. Okay, now doing digitally, I could add another layer, but I like in ArtRage how the uh, the chalk effect blends, and that's more like how you'll be using it if uh, you're working with regular pastels. So, so let's go first into this center area. Now, if you are working with chalk, you may, because it's really tight, you may end up having to break off a little bit of uh, your chalk so or your pastel so you can fit it in there. If the stick's too big, it might not work real well. Notice in the picture, our light is coming from kind of up here. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to come into my color picker here, and I'm going to get a, a, a brownish shadow to hit that side of it. And I'm going to make the little dot in the center about like that. And then kind of a just add a little variety to the color there so it's not just a flat color. I'm not really trying to blend here. Okay, so now let's go to the petals. How am I going to do the petals? Okay, very quickly, I'm going to make my stick a little bit bigger, a little thicker. I'm coming in with straight white now. Remember, our light is coming from up here. So I'm going to emphasize that. And just try to imagine that where the light is going to be hitting. Again, it's hitting here, it's hitting here, here. Okay, so everything that's in the direction of or close to the light is going to get some of that. Okay, and now I'm going to come with my lighter. I'm going to shrink down here a little bit. This is where pastel pencils often will come in handy. Uh, if, you're, if you're doing a pastel drawing and you want to add a little finer detail, pastel pencils can be really helpful. Okay. Again, this is just a quick study. Okay, and if you want to add some shadowing in, you can add a little bit. All right, and then we have a stem coming off of here, so let me go to green. That's way too green, so I'm going to go down to my color picker here, and I'm going to kind of dull that down and actually move it in more of a... There we go. More of a blue-green direction. I'm going to come out from here. And just a nice solid stroke down. I can come over here maybe and lighten that one side a little bit. And then I may actually darken the other side just a little bit more. And then maybe just a hint of a highlight up here on the top. All right, there's a real quick daisy for you. Uh, if you get your pastels out and practice this, colored pencils would work too. Just remember to work on a toned paper and have some fun with it. Uh, so I'll see you next time.